one of my favorite column mm -hmm. stories uh, of, of all time and ever getting an opportunity to see, uh, you know, Raul Labanez, I think, who uh, was in Nashville, Tennessee in AAA. And, and we were in Nashville, Tennessee, and I think everything kind of just worked out where the phone rang and they said, hey, look, you got to get Abanez out of the game. And then we happened to say, look, you know, Abanez is right, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's in the batter's box, I think, or something like that. You got to take him out. And of course, you know, I said, well, you know, and, and just so happened to be, he hits a, a little chopper back to the mound and, and Roll didn't really, you know, bust his ass down the line. And, and one of the very few times, I think, that he never did. He's always, always played hard, always run hard, done a lot of things, uh, you know, so well. Uh, but I think it happened to be the one time that I had never probably ever seen him, and it worked out perfect. And I asked, you know, I said, look, can, can we have some fun with this? Uh, you know, as a staff, uh, Raul kind of jogs down the line. He comes out, comes out of the ball game. I turn and, and, and walk down to the other end of the dugout where he's standing. And I said, you know, I said, did you bust your ass down the line? I said, is there something wrong with your legs? He said, "No, sir." He goes, uh, uh, "I said, could you, you know, could you run harder?" Yes, sir. He goes, "Oh, I'll run harder next time." And I said, "No." I said, "I tell you what, you know, you can just go sit there and you can just take the rest of the night off. You go sit right down there and you think about how hard you ran down the line, and, and you know, with a stone face and everything like that." Well, of course, Rose sits down there, and I mean, I got players that are upset. Some players are coming up saying, "Hey, that's you know, that's BS along the way." Uh, you know, nobody runs harder, nobody busts their ass harder, no one plays hard, plays this game harder than Raul Labanez. And I think it was always, you know, always, I said, well, I said, let it be a lesson for everyone along the way uh, to, to understand. And so, you know, they all think everything's serious. Well, after the ball game, everything kind of, uh, everything kind of starts happening. Everything uh, starts, uh, the media, a couple, you know, a couple of the media things. And, you know, that knows it wasn't like we got bombarded in Nashville, Tennessee, you know, or anything like that. But, uh, we had game reports and, and all kinds of things going on there in Nashville, and, and, and you know, I mean, time had passed, and then now, uh, you know, everyone, you know, I think the vans were running players back to the hotel and everything like that, and of course we were, to, you know, to tell Raul, and I think the rest of the staff said something to the fact of, you know, what, what, what was, uh, uh, what was Raul's reaction, you know, to the, uh, you know, to getting called up to the big leagues, and. and I think there was an absolute stone face on my part because it was it, it, when I when I turned and, and started to and I started to think and of course lo and behold after we've been pulling this you know this long you know prank which was happened three hours ago had forgotten that after doing reports and media and everything like that had forgotten that we hadn't told Raul yet and of course I jumped out of my seat and we took off running out to the clubhouse from the coach's room and took off running and the entire team was gone. We look up, and the only person still sitting in his uniform, full-on uniform, uh, sitting in his locker, was Raul Labanez, and he had his head down, still between, just, just sitting down. And, and of course, no one had felt worse. And he looks up and he says, he, said, he, said, he looks at me and he says, "I will, I will run hard the rest of my life." He goes, "I will not, I will not dog." He goes, "I will make sure that I run hard down that line the rest of my life." Very sorry, and it'll never happen again. And I said, "Well, do you think tomorrow night?" I said, "Do you think you can bust your ass down that line tomorrow?" I said, "You know, and don't take anything for granted." And they looked at me. He says, "Yes, sir." He goes, "It'll never happen again as long as I play this game of baseball." And I said, "Well, that's good." I said, "Then you're going to the big leagues tomorrow." That's why we do what we do. It's it's not a lot of there's not a lot of back bat, not a lot of accolades it's from a coaching standpoint. At this level, I think the fun, the little things, it's it's. You having spent that much time and have helping develop young players and, and watching them grow in front of your face and, and grow into grown men uh, that are playing at the big league level makes it all worthwhile. And it's something that I'll get to remember. Each and every person, each and every player that I had an opportunity to tell that go, go to the big leagues, I try to make it something special uh, because it's certainly special uh, 